Hello, this is Dr. Persley with PC Wellness Centers in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and I'm here today with Amber. She's my willing victim. Uh, we're going to teach you today how to work on uh, some sciatica stretches. So if you're having sciatica pain or sciatic pain going down the back of your leg, I'm going to show you three stretches that you can do to help that without having to actually get up. One of the problems with sciatica is when you're standing or sitting, it causes a lot of pain going down the back of the leg. True sciatica, by the way, is pain starting in your low back, moving down the side of the buttock, down the back of the leg, all the way to the foot. Generally, the pain increases when you're standing or sitting or, you know, you're uh, up and about walking, those type of things. Uh, but I'm going to show you three stretches that you can do without having to actually get up. So, Miss Amber, go ahead and lay on your back if you would. She's going to lay on her back. So most people, when they have sciatica, they uh, end up staying on their back a lot anyway, because that's the only position that feels good. One of the things that you can do while you're on your back is you can actually bend your knees and go at a 90 degree angle like this and put your legs up on a chair and you can go ahead and relax your legs, Amber. And what that does, this is called zero gravity. That puts less pressure on your low back and also shortens the uh, sciatic nerve so it has less pressure that way. But the three stretches, that, that was a bonus for you. The three stretches, one of the stretches is we're going to bend the knee. She's going to take her ankle and put it on the opposite knee, and she's going to actually pull that leg up in this direction, just like that. You can have somebody help you and pull. Uh, they can push that leg for you, or you can use your opposite hand to pull it. But the goal here is that you feel this stretch down um, in the buttock area and into the hip. The other stretch you can do in the same position is you can actually drop this down to stretch out the front of the hip. This will actually take some of the pressure off the sciatic nerve as well. And sometimes if the, uh, the, the issue is the front of the hip is too tight, it'll stretch that out and make it feel a lot better. It opens up the hip. And the third one is the one that most people need but don't ever do, and that's the hamstring stretches. And I think we're going to have to work on Miss Amber here and her hamstrings. But what we're going to do here is try to stretch this out. So you can do this on your own. You can get a towel and wrap it around your foot and actually pull it up this way. From, uh, from your hands, or you can have somebody else help you and just push up a little bit. As an added bonus, if you want to stretch it out a little bit more and somebody is helping you, you can have them put their hand under your foot and you can push using this muscle into my hand. So you can do that. See how that, sh that activates those muscles? All right, start from here. You want to start to where it's not in pain. All right, so push down a little bit. About 5% is all you need to do contraction wise. All right, relax. And then we're going to lift up a little bit and do the same thing again. You can do that three or four times, but you'll end up increasing the amount of range of motion uh, by about 20, 30% just by doing that activity. All right. So those are the three stretches. Pretty simple, but very, very effective. And they're all three without having you uh, having to have you get off the floor. Once again, I'm Dr. Greg Persley from PC Wellness Centers. Click like if you've liked this video, share it with somebody, tag a friend that you think it might help. You can do these also to prevent sciatic problems, but definitely if you're having sciatic pain, visit your local chiropractor uh, and you can do these stretches to help yourself out in the meantime. Other than that, go help somebody today and I hope this has helped you. Click like, share, or tag somebody in the video.